In this video, we're going to look at using the VLOOKUP formula in Excel and show you how it can be used to match information in a cell against information from another area. The VLOOKUP is a great way to draw data from one master source. This way, if anything changes, the change only needs to be done in one area and it will reflect across the entire spreadsheet. To show you an example of this, we're going to use the same spreadsheet as per the previous videos and we'll be looking at the manufacturing price. These prices were individually added to each cell and if the prices were to change you would need to filter and find each one to change it. Instead it would be much easier if it was automatically added. As you can see by clicking in this cell these prices were individually added and should this need to be changed you would need to filter and change each one. Instead it would be easier if this data was automatically added from another source. The data source can be on the same sheet you are using it just needs to be outside of the range that you are currently working in or I personally find it better to use a second sheet which I generally name master data. So looking at mine here if you come down you'll see that we have each of the products listed and we have their manufacturing price on that master data sheet. They don't need to be formatted in any particular way as this information generally shouldn't be seen. So going back to our spreadsheet what we want to do is go to the first cell underneath the manufacturing price. We want to then come up here to the little icon that says insert function. So when we click on that, you'll get a little dialog box will open. If you can't see your VLOOKUP here, you just need to type VLOOKUP and hit go and it will appear at the top of your list. So just double click to open that and you'll get your little function builder box which will make it much easier to actually build the function as you go. So looking at the box, we'll move that across here a bit for you. The lookup value, this is actually the information in this sheet that we want to match against. So we want to be matching this product name. So while we clicked into this cell, we're going to select over here and select that matching cell, so C2. So moving down the table array, so this is basically, as it says down the bottom here, a table of text numbers or logical values where the data is retrieved. So in this instance, our text array is this master data area. So what we want to do is actually select the columns there, so that we've now saying we're doing master data column A and B. So the column index number is actually which column do you want to bring across. So the number that we want to bring across here is this manufacturing price, which as you can see is in column number two. So that's going to be our column index number. And finally in the range lookup, it gives you a little overview down here. But basically if you type two, it will find a closest match. If you type false, you'll get an exact match. So we want to do false so that we get an exact match and we want to go OK. Now you'll see that it doesn't look much different here, it's still saying $3 but the difference is if you look up here we actually have a formula. If you click into one of the other cells you just have a number. So if we go back to that one, double click in the corner to fill that down to the entire column. Again it will look like nothing has changed but all of these will now have a formula within them. So where this actually becomes useful is if something changes. So the manufacturing price may change. All you need to do is go to your master data tab and the first product may now be costing $3.60 to make and the second one may now be costing $5.80 to make. If you change them in that location and go back, you'll see that all of these throughout the spreadsheet, wherever that product is actually listed, have automatically changed to those new prices. And with that price changing, it will also reflect across all of the other formulas using that number there. So if you have a large document with fixed data that could potentially change, it's great practice to use a VLOOKUP formula and some master data to simplify any future changes. We hope you found this video useful. Please feel free to subscribe to be notified as any new videos are added. And thank you for watching.